Hello bakers, welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be talking about how to pack your textures. It's an important topic which is related to your optimization of the projects and as well to how you are setting up your materials and shaders inside Unreal. So without further ado, let's start. First thing, let's start by talking what exactly I mean by packing your textures. So, for all the textures that we are using, we have three, potentially four channels even. For example, the texture that we see at the moment, if I go inside uh, Unreal and you can see that we have red, green and blue. So if we turn off some of the channels and as well the alpha, you can see that uh, it's pretty much black and white value. These are values which are from uh, zero to, to uh, 55 on each of the channels and uh, we have different values each, each of the channels and then when they mix they create color but they can also be used as individual values from the channels themselves as well inside this texture particularly we have an alpha which is the four channel which can also be used when you're packing your textures so when you are creating your textures, have in mind, and especially when you're creating your materials inside Unreal, have in mind how exactly you're gonna pack everything. And do you need actually all of the information which is coming? For example, if you're doing a mobile game, maybe you can optimize and remove some of the textures and um, go just with diffuse, for example, or roughness, or uh, maybe you don't even need a normal map, especially if you're going for something more stylized. So let's first go through Substance Painter and how exactly we can export everything back there presetted for Unreal. I have this character here that's uh, created. So the way that uh, we set up our exporter to pack the textures for Unreal, the default way for packing it for Unreal, is going to be when we go to File, Export Textures, and here from the dropdown, we have different presets. So we can make uh, our default preset if we would like to export everything in a certain way. But if we scroll down, you can see that uh, there's already a couple of uh, presets uh, created. So there is one for Unreal 4, and as well, there are a couple different ways to pack everything into uh, Unity. We are going to go for Unreal 4 Packed. Then we need to choose our file type. I usually work with uh, Tarka or TGA, but also sometimes uh, I work, especially when it comes for uh, mobile projects, I prefer working with PNG. The difference is uh, not uh, a lot, but just for me, it's uh, more convenient uh, to work with Tarka and how everything is uh, working there and uh, yeah, just how everything is being compressed and the quality that you can get in the textures. Then we have uh, the size of our texture. So if we had a 4K document, we can export 4K textures or we can uh, work, for example, on higher resolution textures and then we can export uh, lower resolution ones. Of course, this is something that we don't really need to do. I usually uh, work in Substance on the highest resolution that I can, so usually on 4K. And then uh, once we exported it, if we need to uh, downscale a texture, we can do that in Site Unreal. I'll show you that in a second. Now, once we have our textures exported, let's have a look how we can preview these textures inside 3ds Max. So here we have uh, our uh, module loaded and as well I have the material editor. This guy, he has uh, multi-sub material applied on him, so uh, the hands, face and uh, the clothing there split it into separate uh, texture sets. Uh, we are going to put everything on the clothing since it covers bigger area. So you can see that uh, I have the textures now loaded, the ones that we exported from Samsung's Painter, and the diffuse uh, goes into our base color. After that, the normal map is also pretty straightforward, it just goes into normal map. But this is our combined texture, this is the packed one, which is ambient occlusion, roughness and metallic going on the RGB channels. So if I just plug it in one of those, it will display a color, but we don't want to display the color because these are just values, like black and white values. So the way to display uh, this uh, texture correctly, we need to split into the different channels. So here I'm just going to type components. This one, we need components color. 
So the input is coming over here and then we can split the RGB. So red goes into our ambient occlusion. Green one goes into our roughness. And the last one is the metallic, which goes into the metallic. And there we have it. Now our textures are displayed correctly inside the viewport of 3ds Max. If you would like to see or you don't see uh, the normal maps and everything that uh, you have on your character, we can change the viewing mode from the standard one to high quality, which will now display the ambient occlusion and all the other elements correctly. As well, if we have lights in our scene, we are going to be able to see those correctly and check our model if everything looks all right. So the question is, what if you already exported or you already worked with someone that exported the texture in an incorrect way and you would like to repack them after that? Of course, this is something that uh, can be easily done. Here we have for the same character, just the ambient occlusion and I'm going to drag and drop the roughness on top. I'm going to copy this one, hide it, go inside our ambient occlusion layer then into channels and once we are in channels so we have the red one which is uh, the ambient occlusion the green one which we are going to put now the roughness so here i'm just going to paste the roughness and you can already see that uh, the end result is uh, getting a little bit weird and then since we don't really have any metal parts we just need to make the blue channel completely black we are just gonna pick a color and I'll take the brush and just go over it like this because we don't have anything uh, metallic onto our asset. And there we have it, we got our textures packed. But why to do this uh, instead of using it separately? When you're having your texture separated, you are wasting more, much more memory because uh, this way you have uh, any way like when everything is going inside uh, Unreal, it reads from the RGB, so from the red, green and blue channel. And then your application uh, size becomes bigger because uh, you have a lot more textures which are going into your project. This way you can save uh, in terms of memory and also you are saving uh, assets that are being loaded into your scene at a time. So you have less textures that are being loaded and as well less textures that are going into the memory of your project. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. Hope that this was useful for you. See you next time. Subscribe to the channel.